Welcome back everybody and uh, yeah we're taking a look at another single release from uh, Arrow Video this time and it is the Years of Lead collection which uh, came out a, a, couple, a few weeks ago now uh, but I've been meaning to get my hands on it and uh, yeah it's basically got five classic f Italian crime fillers from between 1973 and 1977 and it uh, covers the uh, Poliziotesky uh, subgenre of crime and action films as uh, during the 70s there was a lot of socio-economic uh, turmoil in Italy as well as soaring crime rates and uh, yeah these films were made in the midst of that and kind of reflect those kind of times that were around in Italy and uh, yeah five films across three uh, discs so a bit of a shame that we don't have them in individual cases or anything like that as I would have preferred that but this does look like something that Indicator would release with their uh, solid boxes and uh, even the uh, same kind of colours at the bottom and uh, yeah got all of the uh, special features on the back there and uh, yeah you got uh, high definition presentations of all five films restored from the original camera negatives including a brand new 2k restoration of one of the films exclusive to this release and uh, yeah you've got all of the uh, usual audio uh, uh, aspects to it and uh, yeah, it's a uh, cracking uh, series of films for the most part. Only one of them that I'm not particularly fond of, but the other four I really, really do enjoy. And uh, yeah, you get a nice gloss-covered booklet with it as well. Going through the films, uh, showing off the uh, cast and the crew, in terms of who's in it. you got pictures from the films and everything like that. I'll avoid the gruesome ones, because there is some quite nasty violence in this at times. But you got your pictures like that. As you can see, one of the characters there, and uh, and all of the cast and the crew, really, yeah. And it is a, there's a spectacular car crash in one of the films. That's part of it. Basically, just goes all the way down the stairs, which is really rather quite spectacular. So, but yeah, the first film that is a uh, part of this collection is a uh, Savage Free. Now, this is a decent start to the uh, whole box set. It was released in, uh, let me have a look, 1975, and uh, yeah, it's basically about three uh, friends who go on a, a crime spree, and it gets ever so increasingly more and more violent, and uh, yeah, it's a solid film, like I said, decent start to the uh, box set, but it's far from a favourite of the box set, there are, uh, the, three, the three others after the next one are definitely my favourite, but yeah, Still a solid film, and uh, yeah, unfortunately it only comes out on a uh, single disc with the uh, second film in this box set, which is called Light like Rabbit Dogs, which is not my favourite from the uh, box set. In fact, it is my least favourite, uh, because it really does go far too down the road of exploitation and uh, quite nasty violence, and it's really not all that much fun at all, even if it does tr is trying to say something, it's just lost under a myriad of exploitation sexual violence and all that lot which is really not all that good as well as i'm concerned but it was released in 1976 and is a basically a more extreme version of savage free to be honest and uh, then we have uh, cult 38 special squad which is yeah definitely better than the previous two definitely more down my kind of uh, road because it's about police versus the criminals rather than just about criminals who were not really uh, redemptive whatsoever and uh, yeah again you get it on a single disc and it's all they all look good because I've seen all of these already uh, the blu-ray uh, versions of these all look spectacular the uh, transfer is gorgeous on it for a lot of the part and uh, yeah Colt 38 was released in 1976 same as like rabbit dogs and uh, yeah about renegade cops basically battling against red tape and political corruption uh, to deal with criminals really and uh, yeah but my favorite of the lot is a uh, highway racer which is there on the back which is on the same disc as cop 38 and uh, yeah basically it's my favorite because it's got a huge number of great car chases really nice practical uh, you know car chases that are uh, you can generally feel the impacts and stuff like that but it's really got a fun uh, plot going for it as well doesn't feel convoluted or anything like that as far as I'm concerned. It's from 1977 and uh, yeah, it's a really, really solid effort. It's my favourite of the five. And then finally we have on its own disc, uh, No, the case is happily resolved. And uh, yeah, this is a fantastic film. Really nicely mixes the crime elements of the previous films with Jallo, uh, which is another one of the uh, 
you know the genres that were dominating the Italian uh, film uh, you know scene at the time as well as spaghetti westerns so uh, yeah really starts off like a giallo film but then moves into more of a drama crime element kind of film and uh, yeah it's got really good tense scenes in it and it really does get across you know the kind of mistakes that you or I would make if we were you know spotted a crime and didn't really want to uh, you know admit to seeing it out of fear of being killed so uh, yeah that was released in 1973 no idea why they've got the films going up in order and then suddenly we go back a few years it might have been a misprint or something like that i'm not sure but yeah basically an innocent man finds himself under suspicion for a savage crime committed by a highly respected member of society so basically witnesses a murder but the murderer himself ends up claiming that the uh, witness is the one that committed it and not himself. So, uh, yeah, really nice cat and mouse game. Not really too reliant on that action. Does have a solid start, like I said, with the murderer and uh, a really, really good uh, tense scene between him and the killer as he uh, as he tries to get away from the killer and all that. Lot. But, yeah, it's more about drama and more about the characters than it is uh, characters in terms of war of minds more than, you know, war of brute force or... Uh, you know action or guns or anything like that so uh, yeah overall a solid collection not my favorite uh, collection of films that i have bought by any means because yeah the first film i'd give three and a half stars like rabid dogs i give two and a half stars um cult 38 i give four highway race to four and a half and no the case of the result four stars so uh yeah they do get after the second film they do get better and uh, they do uh, overall stay at a high level of quality but it is generally those three films that are the best whereas the first two are a little bit hit and miss but the first film is decent but yeah definitely the other three are the best of the lot so uh, yeah I highly recommend uh, the films themselves uh, especially the last three uh, if you can't afford to buy it or can't risk buying a box set of, of, of films that you've never seen before then do rent them or try and find them on Arrow Player because they are worth watching even if they aren't all great. And uh, yeah, thankfully HMV had this spot set going a lot cheaper than other areas. Um, Zavi for some reason had it at 45 and Arrow uh, Store itself was about 50 or 55. So yeah, uh, HMV only had it at 40, which was a really rather good price. So uh, yeah, especially for you know five films, you know that's not even uh, 10 pound a pop. So uh, yeah, really good box set, and I hope that they are. Um, their future box sets are going to be as good as this because obviously we have the uh, Atomic Creatures uh, box set or whatever it's called that's got free films that I'm really looking forward to so uh, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye